This is Susan Bassey, and many of you here on this YouTube channel will be very surprised to find that I invited two Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies into my home in Los Gatos, California, because on this day I still trusted the police. These police officers came into my home by invitation. They were able to inspect the home, look around the home, and for all I know they had on body cameras. I had two cameramen there that day to record the police. I thought I was doing the right thing. But they weren't there to record the police entirely. They were also there to record a real estate agent, Patty Felice, who I'd known for over 20 years. Patty Felice and I had had our children together in the same hospital in Gilroy, California. We belonged to a number of similar associations and organizations. And yet Patty Felice was suddenly appointed by a private judge to sell this property after she had promised that private judge's son a real estate commission. And I only found out about that through an email. And while Patty Felice pretended to do the right thing and to work hard for educating her children to make sure that they got an education instead of an arrest warrant, Patty Felice also made the decision to be represented by attorney Bradford Baugh in her personal divorce case, and that alone made her untrustworthy. But my decision to let Patty Felice and those police officers in my Los Gatos home that day would cost me over $5 million. And there was another woman in Santa Clara who decided not to let the Santa Clara police into her home, and she had a very different outcome. your daughter for on view charges. Do you understand? I understand what you're saying. We have on view charges. Tell him we have on view charges for the daughter. We're going to arrest her. That's going to happen. I totally disagree with him and we can debate this in court. So my suggestion is is you're gonna want to stand back because I don't want to break I don't want you to get hit by the door when I kick it. It's about to get kicked in. So could you please move back? Okay. I told, I got it. No problem at all. No problem. Please, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. No, you are not allowed to come in this house. Yeah, get your hands off me. Are we, are we, are we, are we, oh, my leg just broke. My leg just broke. Stop resisting. Broke. Roll over. Roll over. Oh. In case you missed what the woman said at the beginning of the video, she said based on the advice of her attorney, she was not letting the police officers in. They came in anyway. They broke her leg. And then, of course, they did what all police officers do when they're engaged in misconduct in excessive force cases. They arrested her. They didn't show very much compassion, and they acted the way we see police officers acting all over the country. The police officer involved received his regular pay, and he has not been fired, and he has not lost his job. The Santa Clara County District Attorney never prosecuted him even though he said recently he was going to review some of these old excessive force cases. And in the end, the woman got over $6 million in a settlement with the police because they violated her rights, they violated her privacy, and they caused her harm. And that was a lawsuit that she deserved and that taxpayers, unfortunately, had to pay the bill to foot. But in this case, where Patty Felice came into my house and where I invited the police in, I had a very different outcome. Oh my goodness, aren't we doing great? Nice to see you too. All right, we're all going to uh, be involved in this? Yeah. Uh, any, uh, I'm going to turn mine off for a second. Don't get up close and personal. Don't try to intimidate me. Hey, I'm telling you, don't try to intimidate me, all right? What are you doing? What? He's, he's just video. Don't intimidate me like that. He's standing there. No, he's he being aggressive. Who's trying to intimidate aggressive. who? You're being aggressive. Just letting you know. All right? This is uh, within the law. In the law? Within the law. You got it, partner. I'm glad you're here then. All right. Is 
This is a private investigator that Patty Felice said that she regularly uses in her real estate transactions. It's hard to imagine that a real estate agent would need a private investigator, but Patty Felice appeared to need an army of people. She had just about everybody imaginable getting paid in order to make sure she could get the court orders that would get her paid. She used locksmiths, she used pool repair people, she used more people on a house to sell it than anybody would have used to own it. And in the end, I thought I was doing the right thing by denying her access to the house. I have conspired with him to get rid of my community property. If you want to be on the property, you need to sign a protective order. I've asked you to do that. You haven't done that. He asked for the protective order. So you may not come on the property. You may not come on the property. You need to leave right now. Good, I'm glad. You may wait outside until they come. Excellent. And by the way, I like your car because... And you may not come on my property. private property and I'm asking you to leave. I'm allowed by court order. You are not property. allowed by court order. You have no court order showing that you... I have a court here you... right here. Let me see it. You don't have a copy of the court No, order? I don't. Let me see your court order. What does it say? Your name on the court order that you may come on my property. It says designate. I'm allowed to be on property. You're not on my property. I can see it here too. You might not know. I'll wait for the sheriff's office. That's we'll, be, we'll be out front. Okay, thank you. Deputy Brown, badge 2152, right here. And could you please say that again? I'm not preventing them from doesn't access to the house. Right. It's just that you don't want things to escalate. That's right. right. On your half or his half. That's right. right. And that's what we're here for. We don't want anything to escalate. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to go out there and talk with them. See and I would like the contact, contact information. information. And they'll okay. have to sign a protective order before they come. Well, I don't. I don't know could, what the protective order come, actually is. Could you come here for a second? Yeah, if you, you don't mind come me coming in. Come on in. Yep, come on. Ultimately, when the sheriffs arrived, they ended up dealing with Patty and her army of experts. They convinced me to let Patty into the house to do her inspection without the cranky old P.I. that she had in tow. And so I agreed with that condition. But that was probably the wrong thing to do. And just like the First Amendment auditors teach us to always record the police, we need to always record the court-appointed experts such as Patty Felice, who was appointed after she agreed to give a kickback to a private judge's son. It's a situation yeah. because there's a divorce going on and things like and, that. And right? it, it is it's not, not a fun typical, situation for It's not your typical anyone. foreclosure where the bank comes in and takes possession of the property, censoring. I have, um, I have noticed her on two other occasions giving 10 days notice the first time and uh, was not allowed entrance. And then and she said she would come back and give me a time within so many days, and she did not. And so, as I said, the, the, that, that's why, why we're here now. We're under a time pressure. I, I understand that completely. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my calendar. Sure. Sure. So. Patty Felice is one of the worst kind of predators that there are. She used a trusted relationship and the court orders that required her neutrality to be anything but. Her whole goal was to get the commission off these sales. She was cheating because she's not a very good real estate agent if she has to do it on her own. So she decided to do it through the courts. And she decided to do it knowing that she was bankrupting my family and my children and making me essentially homeless. This is the bedroom. One year ago, I had a bedroom, three bedrooms, in Los Gatos, California, before Brad Baugh and realtor Patty Felice to have me evicted from the house in seven days. For the last year, I've lived in this cottage, that the roof has been ruined, and the landlord has refused to fix it, and now I have people fixing the roof one week before it is supposed to rain again. I've been dealing with the rain pouring down through the walls. Here's the ceiling in my kitchen.
Here's my front entryway. This was my front entryway in Los Gatos, in a house that my husband convinced me to buy in 2010. The house was meticulous. I had had it repainted. I had had those French doors put in. The yard was immaculate. And the house was always kept clean. I had my kids go through school here, and they brought their friends over to visit. I worked from this area, and there was nothing you could say that was not well kept about this house. And yet Patty Felice conspired with Bradford Baugh and the private judge to make sure that she said exactly what she needed to say. She filed court orders that she knew were false, and she literally worked against my interests the entire time. She had a fiduciary duty and was supposed to act within the guide of her real estate license. But a court appointment, just like immunity for police, gives realtors, custody evaluators, accountants, and just about anybody immunity. And we underestimate the power of this immunity and what it can do. But Patty Felice was given access to that house that day, and so were the Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies. She then went about her work, writing the reports and issuing the statements that she needed, that she knew would get that property sold and would get all the money that she needed. She made hundreds of thousands of dollars for herself and others by having those properties sold, not because she did the work to earn that money, but because she used a system and she tried to game the system by violating a trust and by having no sense of integrity, very much like police officers who arrest people when they know they were the ones that did something wrong. Stand here and except for he's made threats against me, and except I had a stay away order at the other property, yes. and except for that it just hasn't been legally changed. Correct. So the problem is there's the the a stay away order at this, at this property. property. Mm -hmm. So, um, so our, our thing is, for the sake of inspections. What you wouldn't know by just watching this video is that the female deputy here in my house that I invited in was actually a bridesmaid for two deputies in Santa Clara County. These two deputies happened to be the bailiffs that worked in Judge Grilly's courtroom and Judge Towery's courtroom. And Deputy Oliveri was the one who intervened with my personal divorce case in a manner that required my attorney to write a letter to the sheriff. And when that letter was written, Deputy Oliveri was reassigned to the court security. And once he was reassigned, he was the one that sent the police officers into the court file room where my hand was broken. I currently have a federal lawsuit against Deputy Oliveri that has stayed pending the outcome of my criminal case. And Deputy Oliveri is also a witness to that case because in the police reports related to my criminal case, there is an incident that took place at a Rotary Club where Deputy Oliveri happened to be having lunch with my judge. And therefore, we're going to find out the truth. And what's going to be different this time is that we had cameras rolling. And so whether they had body cams or not, that's going to trump any witness testimony that they try to recall from three or four years ago when all of this took place. As we address the complex issues related to our police and our courts these days, I'm going to take you down to Gilroy and show you what Patty Felice did down there. Because if anything, when we get done with this video, I hope that all of you will share it so that everybody knows never to let the police or Patty Felice inside of their house.